Hi, good evening to everyone. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, okay, good. Yes. Okay, thank you for letting me know that. Okay, guys, um, <laughs> welcome again to, to the course. We are almost at the end of this course, as you know. Uh, and uh, today, tonight, I mean, we're going to move on to the section number five. So we're going to be working on some exercises before going through the topic that we're going to be discussing uh, for tonight, okay? So uh, before to start, as I said before, I, I want you to uh, complete some exercises and I'll be sharing you uh, a link where you're going to find a, a worship. Uh, this is a live worship that you can work online. And uh, what the only thing that you need to do is just to follow the instructions that, the instructions that you're gonna find there. Uh, okay, so um, right now I'm sharing the first worship that this is related to jobs and professions. This is a vocabulary and it's an activity for uh, learning vocabulary. And um, there we're going to uh, just review the lesson. Okay, give me just one second while I share this link. Okay. Okay, there you have. A look there in the chat box because I have already shared the link. You can find um, the worship. Um, there we are going to find some instruction. It's the, for instance, the first one it says join each picture with a vocabulary word. In that case, the only thing that you have to do is just to match the picture with the noun. This is, uh, as I said before, um, related to jobs and professions. Uh, after that, we're going to do um, listening activity. So uh, the instructions there says listen and write the word. There you have like an, a speaker, like an icon that is uh, like to be a speaker. Um, so we're going to click on it and we're going to listen the word and we have to write that word in the space that has been provided in order to complete the uh, Exercise number two. So after that, we're going to move on to exercise number three. And it says, look at the picture and complete. So there we're going to find some uh, questions uh, where we have to answer, yes, I do or no, I don't. And at the end, we're going to relate the question uh, to the professions that we have uh, already work, already, I mean, uh, check out in the exercise number one. Uh, that's all, of course, related to jobs and professions. Um, in the last exercise, it says, what do you want to, I mean, what do you want in the future? Look at examples and complete for you. This is an extra activity. This is a free uh, answer that's going to depend on, on you. If you want, you can complete it. If not, it's okay. So it's not necessary for the results that you're going to receive at the end, okay? So um, I want you to complete this worship. It's gonna be better if you work in pairs. So for that reason, I will create a breakout rooms and there you can share each other information if you want. If you want to complete it alone, just stay in the lobby and that's gonna be okay. After that, I will be asking you for some um, answers that you must provide related to um, this worship. Okay, is it clear what we're going to do? Yes. Yes, okay, good. Uh, Selena, what about the rest of you? Oscar, uh, Lope, uh, Beatriz, Maximo, Miguel, Brian, Rodrigo, Mylene, Alicia, Patricia, Ronald, Alessandra, is it clear what I'm saying? Yes. Yes, okay. And the rest of you, is it clear? Yes, no. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Okay, I'm going to create the breakout rooms right now. In just one moment while I do that. Okay, there you have, just click um, accept. And uh, as I said before, you can join to the breakout room in order to complete the activity with someone else.
Hold up the chair. Myers, Mary. Um, y lo siento, hace poquito me conecté. No sé qué están haciendo. Oh, they're working in a worship. Uh, I already shared the link, but just let me share this link again or leave it out in the chat box. Um, there you're going to find uh, the link and you have to complete all the exercises that has been proposed uh, to complete, okay? So um, this activity, you can work uh, this activity with um, one of your classmates or if you prefer to work alone, it's okay. Just stay here in the lobby if you want. If not, move to one of the breakout rooms.
Sí, pero es una de las... Ahorita viene. Sí. Hola, hola. Hola. Sí, Mayri, dígame. Pues tenemos problemas porque yo cuando usted estaba haciendo lo de los grupos, uh -huh. yo tenía problemas de audio y solo lo miraba usted frisado y no pude escuchar uh -huh. nada de lo que dijo, de qué íbamos a hacer. Y creo que los demás compañeros, ninguno de ellos logró escuchar qué íbamos a hacer. Oh, rayos. Yo creí que estaba trabajando ahorita en la... Bueno, yo les había compartido. <ríe> sí, no. Ni el, ni el link tenía. No, no, hombre. Este, yo les había compartido un, un enlace... Según yo, y como, como este, pedí que, que me confirmaran y alguien me confirmó ahí y me dijo que sí había escuchado, que sí se había entendido. Pues, eh, supuse que todos habían este, sí. escuchado la misma información. Vale, les he compartido ahorita el enlace. Revisen este, si gustan. Aquí tengo el enlace, ahora sí me, lo tengo. Sí lo tienen, vale. Sí. Este, ahorita vamos, este, se supone, estamos trabajando en una eh, hoja... Este, de ejercicios. Y ahí tienen ustedes cuatro, si no me equivoco, sí, son cuatro ejercicios los que van a completar. Eh, el tema este, es de Jobs and Professions. Simplemente es para eh, practicar un poco de vocabulario. Eh, yo creo que les voy a dar un par de minutitos más para que este, logren revisar eh, parte de, 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 la, de la información de, de los live worship. Mientras tanto me voy a mover este, con otro grupo que me está solicitando asistencia también. ¿De acuerdo? Ah, está bien. Okay. Sí, gracias. Ah, sin esto no íbamos a hacer nada. No. <risa> sí. Sí. Pero no. <risa> my, fu my future job. I want to be a vet. My future job. I want to be a vet. My future job. Why? Uh -huh. What do you want in the future? Look at the example and compete for you. Uh -huh. Carla? Well, Join the end of 20 minutes each. Screen time is useful. But Teacher, hello. So we designed adapted mind. So your this is the audio. that over 95% of members improve both math confidence and ability. We know you need to see the results for yourself. You can try Adopted Mind for you for your first time. Quite la presentación, ¿verdad, Nancy? Uh, sí, can sí. you please, yes, can you please uh, stop the video? What's your email address? Okay. Sorry, T. Ok, thank you. Um, apologies. No, es que lo quité este, por una razón, que, que eh, como estoy grabando la, la videoconferencia, no lo puedo dejar mucho tiempo por cuestiones de, de copyright. Por eso lo quité. Luego, si gustan, lo pueden compartir. Este, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta de momento. Eh, sí, teacher. Eh, sería de escuchar el audio del link que nos mandó, ¿verdad? Sí, pero eh, aparecen a Worship este, los audios. No sé si lo lograron visualizar. Ah, pues no, solamente el que estaba proyectando, el que era de unos no. monstruos, pero eran como una serie de preguntas. Vale, se los ¿Qué hace? Ajá. Lo voy a mostrar, mire. Yo les compartí un enlace en el que aparecía este... Ah, okay. esto. Era solo sí. al abrir la página, ¿verdad? Sí, solo abrir la página. Estos son los audios. Creo que quedó. Sí, vaya, ustedes le dan clic ahí y automáticamente este les, les muestra el, el, el perdón, les, les reproduce el audio. Ok. Bien. Este, ¿Tienen más preguntas? No, teacher. No. Solo esa es la actividad y escribir. Sí, o sea, trae, trae cuatro ejercicios, este, okay. de hecho. Ah, ok. Sí, aquí están cuatro. Cuatro ejercicios. Ahí están. De acuerdo.
Hola, ¿será que aquí tienen alguna pregunta? Hola, hola. Teacher. Hola, hola, Miguel Díaz. I go in the microbus, teacher. Ah, ok, ok. okay. You're going to be just listening. Ok, don't worry. Okay, good. So uh, I'm seeing that all of you are here right now. So it's supposed, uh, I didn't know that uh, some of you didn't listen to the instructions that I was telling you at the very beginning, uh, guys. But um, don't worry, because you're going to have the link in order to complete that activity. You can send it later. What I want you to do right now is to, uh, well, in this case, just check it out the information that we're going to be watching here in the um, platform now of English Corporativo. Just let me share this part here. Um, okay, here we have, uh, this is going to be uh, our first lesson adjected for the section number five. Uh, and it says, in this class, you will listen to a conversation about jobs and job requirements where gerunds and short responses will be used. Okay, we are like integrating uh, different topics here. Some of them we have been, well, we've been working with them in case of jargons and, and short responses with, with Bill, with, I mean with uh, Will. So let's uh, take a look of this part because we're going to watch a video first then. Um, and after that, I will be uh, showing you some extra uh, information related to this topic, okay? Please pay attention. Hi, thank you for joining us again. Ready to listen to the conversation? This time you will listen to job and job requirements, as well as gerunds and short responses. Remember to always practice the conversations with a friend. I need a job. Part A. Listen and practice. I'm so broke. I really need to find a job. So do I. Do you see anything good listed on the internet? How about this? A door-to-door -door salesperson to sell baby products. Like diapers and things? No thanks. And anyway, I'm not good at selling. Well, I am. I might check that one out. Oh, here's one for you. An assistant entertainment director on a cruise ship. That sounds like fun. I like traveling, and I've never been on a cruise ship. It says here you have to work every day while the ship is at sea. That's okay. I don't mind working long hours if the pay is good. What's the phone number? It's 555-3455. Part B. 
Listen to Brad call about the job. What else does the job require? Holiday Cruise Lines. Hello? I'm calling about the assistant entertainment director job that's advertised online. Is it still available? Yes, it is. There's just one thing we didn't mention in the advertisement. Do you speak any other languages? No, not really. Oh. We're really looking for someone who can speak at least one other language. We probably should have included that in the ad. I'm sorry. Okay, guys. Uh, well, there you have. This is like uh, uh, someone trying to get a New York, right? Listen and uh, practice. I'm going to play, uh, I mean, I'm going to show you um, this part of the conversation. Uh, we're going to find some expressions that are useful and uh, we're looking for a job, okay? So, uh, for instance, uh, the expression, I really need to find a job, okay? That's one of the ones related to the topic. Uh, have, oh, I mean, I want to ask you something. Have you ever seen uh, some ads uh, on the internet? Uh, well, we're going to find when we find information related to a job. Have you ever find information like that on the internet? So, tell me. ¿Alguna vez han encontrado ustedes información este eh, relacionada con ofertas de trabajo en internet? Yes. Sí. Yes. 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 What kind of job are you seeing there? What kind of job have you seen there? ¿Qué tipo de, de trabajos este, ha visto que, que se publican así en internet? Accountant. Assistant. Ah, okay, qué assistant. Primero tengo que ¿Y en qué páginas este, las han visto ustedes? ¿Puedes darme un ejemplo de una página web? Ah, te, te coloco. coloco. Yo más. Okay. Compu trabajo. Compu trabajo, sí. Yeah. ¿Qué más? Te coloco, compu trabajo, Facebook. Yes, Facebook. They, they used to offer some jobs to using Facebook. Mostly for companies that are like updated with new technologies. Okay, well, just let me tell you that uh, on the internet, we're going to find uh, different parts related to different jobs. As you see there, um, we also can apply for a name. And you see the, 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 the parts they just show here in, in this kind, in this platform, like Facebook, take a look, or the ones that you're mentioning, right? So we have the possibility to look for a job on the internet. So the only thing that we, I think we have to make sure is that uh, the company that is offering that job, eh, it's like, oh, we can find information about, about it, right? So um, at least search for information uh, that can allow us to share our personal data with that uh, company, because sometimes it could be fraud, but uh, sometimes like uh, they offer this kind of job with good intentions of trying to hire people um, that probably they don't have like uh, an access in order to promote that these kind of ads. There are a lot of jobs. I, I don't know if you've seen uh, on the internet, or well, in this case on Facebook, um, to be more specific, that there are some companies that offer different jobs like virtual assistants, like uh, also um, agents Chef? for customer services. And t tell me, my apologies. Hello? Dígame. Hola, hola. Jobs okay. like Chef? Just like? Chef? I see. Uh, he visto ofertas para Chef. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, good. There's an other offers like chef to, uh, for chef for being chef, for being a chef. Okay, good. So uh, there are a lot of uh, a lot of uh, jobs that we can find there. 
in the, the thing that I want to mention to you <clears throat> is this that uh, so these technologies, internet in this case, uh, I allow us to make well, and I can say many people like me, like some other people that I know, um, to work for a company that even is not working it's not it doesn't have like a, a building or a company here in El Salvador but they used to offer jobs like like this uh, to our country because there are some companies that hire people here in El Salvador but probably these companies are from the United States from Mexico uh, probably a part of Europe so we're going to find there it a list of different jobs like virtual assistants that allow you in order to work for them. And just let me tell you that the earnings that you're gonna get from these jobs is like eh, bastante, digamos, como, como bastante elevado, ¿sí? No sé si este, pues ustedes han tenido la, la, la oportunidad este, de, de ver ofertas de trabajo de este tipo. Créeme que eh, este, tengo conocimiento este, de, de algunas empresas, bueno, de algunas empresas aquí en El Salvador que ofrecen servicios para otros países, que este, los trabajos son bastante remunerados, o sea, son, son bien remunerados. Eh, al igual que compañías este, que ofrecen trabajos para salvadoreños que no tienen alguna base aquí en, en El Salvador y que usted fácilmente puede estar trabajando desde casa. Este, trabajos como esos, nosotros vemos, por ejemplo, los, los asistentes virtuales, que son como eh, una especie de, este, digamos, eh, asistentes, ¿verdad? En sí que eh, agendan este, entrevistas, que agendan eh, citas este, para compañías que, muy probablemente son de otros países. Tenemos los de customer services uh, o de servicio al cliente, eh, que pues usted puede estar trabajando desde casa y usted le están pagando, este, pues, en, en, por un trabajo que usted está haciendo de, 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 de servicio al cliente desde su casa, donde no está gastando combustible, donde no está gastando pasaje no está gastando por alimentación porque usted es la misma eh, que consume o sea, en su casa. Este, y eh, hay trabajos como eso. Yo, bueno, si a algunos les interesa este, algún tipo de trabajo, pueden este, buscar. Hay, hay varias compañías, incluso aquí en El Salvador, este, que son como las, digamos, más reconocidas, que ofrecen este, trabajos como eso, sí, y va, bastante eh, remunerados. Ahora, este, ¿Cuál es la ventaja este, que tienen eh, ustedes eh, que saben otro idioma? Porque eso es esencial. Eh, it's so very important to know a, another language for this kind of jobs because we're going to be working for uh, people in a different country. So it's mandatory to have a, at least, as, as you see here in the video, uh, another language. In this case, because you know... Uh, English, it's going to be easy for you if you want to explore something like that. Okay, so they're just there. I'm just mentioning it here because it's probably one of you could be interested on it and you can search information about that. Okay, so um, let me stop. I mean, minimize this part and we're going to move the next one. Um, one second. Okay, here. Um, yeah, the last time, uh, well, at the beginning of this course, if you remember, we're discussing about gerunds. Uh, you already know what it what a gerund is, and uh, the only thing that we're gonna be including in here is short responses. Want to see how does it work? And let's review the topic about gerunds. Ready to know about gerunds and short responses? Follow us in the audio program and stay with us for more explanation. Gerunds, short responses. Affirmative statements with gerunds. I like traveling. Agree. So do I. Disagree. Oh, I don't. 
I hate working on weekends. So do I. Really? I like it. I'm good at using a computer. So am I. Gee, I'm not. Negative statements with gerunds. I don't mind working long hours. Agree. Neither do I. Disagree. Well, I do. I'm not good at selling. Neither am I. I am. I can't stand making mistakes. Neither can I. Oh, I don't mind. Other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love. Enjoy. Be interested in. Let's talk about gerunds. Remember, a gerund is a verb plus ing. Today we will make reference to verbs or phrases that are followed by a gerund. Like, hate, good at, as well as, don't mind, not good at, can't stand. So feel free to say, I like eating pizza. She hates cooking. They are good at writing poetry. Or, I don't mind listening to people's problem. He's not good at playing sports. You can't stand cheating on a test. If you notice, you may change the subject. Just make sure you conjugate the verbs properly. Before we go, we want you to look into the chart. Notice we have other verbs or phrases followed by gerunds. Love, enjoy, be interested in. The way to use these verbs and phrases is the same as we did on the previous examples. Short responses with so and neither are ways of agreeing. For example, we use so to agree with a positive statement. I need to find a job. So do I. Neither to agree with a negative statement. I don't like working long hours. Neither do I. Did you realize that with both so and neither, we use the verb from the original statement? Also, keep in mind we place the subject or noun or pronoun after the verb. Hello, did you notice when we have an affirmative statement, we agree by using so plus auxiliary plus subject. And when we have a negative statement, we agree by saying neither plus auxiliary plus subject. For example, if I say to you, I like reading books, you may answer by saying, so do I. Or if I say to you, I don't mind talking to him, you may do by saying, neither do I. As said in the explanation, there are some verbs that are always followed by gerunds. We will share them with you so you may practice. I hate. Okay, want to stop here because I want to explain some things related to this part. Um, so, during the, uh, the, the topic gerunds, you already know what a gerunds is. Um, so, just to review the topic, and then, well, you review it there in the video. So, um, that gerund is just a verb with ing form. That is, or, or it's like, um, it, it's used as a noun in a sentence. Um, we have like short responses instead of saying uh, yes or not or things like that. We, we have uh, short responses in order to have an uh, um, in order to agree with something or disagree uh, with something. Okay, for instance, someone said uh, I like traveling. Uh, in order to agree with that, so do I. Or if we disagree, we can say like oh I don't. So this is just to reply something that someone else is telling to us or is mentioning to us because we are a, just writing or point of view. If we agree about something or we disagree. Um, the, what we have here, like there are some uh, expressions like in negative and also in affirmative. In, in the something particular here is that even though that we have an affirmative sentence, we can uh, disagree with something. For instance, in negative, in negative statements with gerunds, it says, I don't mind working long hours. 
if we just provide an answer like, uh, well, I do. So we are um, telling the other people uh, or the other person that we're talking with that we disagree with that statement. So it's like the opposite of it. Uh, and I'm using that uh, negative, or when I say uh, disagreement, uh, in an affirmative form, okay? So it is possible to do that. So, este, así que eh, cuando nosotros tengamos estos, lo, estas short responses, este, recuerden que a pesar de que un short response pueda ser, este, um, afirma, perdón, este, de, de estar de acuerdo con algo o no estarlo, eh, nosotros podemos utilizar ya sea oraciones afirmativas o oraciones negativas para expresarlo. Y ponía el ejemplo de la número uno, a pesar de que yo estoy, eh, no estoy de acuerdo con algo, este, yo estoy utilizando una oración afirmativa, simplemente para este, eh, hacer un contraste, mostrar lo opuesto o, o una idea opuesta a lo que se me está expresando. ¿sí? De esa manera nosotros lo podemos hacer. De igual forma, este, nosotros tenemos ahí expresiones que simplemente son para dar un... un, un eh, as I said at the beginning in English, like in order to reply to information uh, to someone else. ¿sí? Es como para responderle este, a otra persona eh, acerca de sí. ¿Estamos de acuerdo con algo o sí? Este, no lo estamos. ¿sí? Eh, por ejemplo, Miguel me puede decir, a mí me gusta eh, viajar. ¿sí? Yo le puedo decir, a mí no. Entonces, yo estoy utilizando una expresión que viene siendo como el equivalente del inglés. Eh, oh, I don't. ¿Sí? O oh, no, o, oh, 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 well, there, I don't mind you. So, like, things like that. Is it clear? Yes, it's clear. Okay, good. So, um, and as you know, uh, there are some words uh, or phrases that are followed by gerunds. Hay como este, verbos bien específicos que nosotros podemos utilizar y esto es para la construcción de oraciones. Eh, nosotros podemos utilizar el verbo love, enjoy, o la frase be interested, interested in, um, in para utilizar nosotros un gerundio. Recordemos que los gerundios decimos, son nombres que se forman de verbos más el ing. Eh, y después de un, uno de estos verbos, nosotros podemos utilizar este tipo de este, eh, palabras, en este caso, en este, este tipo de gerundios, verbos con ing, este para expresar una idea. Tenemos love, tenemos enjoy, be interested in, y tenemos otros eh, como los que aparecen al final. Este, aquí tienen ustedes, déjenme ver, aquí está. Tiene una lista de verbos que eh, al utilizarlos en una oración eh, se pueden admitir lo que son gerundios. ¿eh? En, en el caso de oraciones ya sean afirmativas o oraciones negativas. ¿okay? So, admit, advise, appreciate, avoid, begin, complete, consider, eh, deny, discuss, forget, keep, miss, postpone, prefer, quite, and recommend, regret, and suggest. Después de cada uno de estos verbos, es posible que nosotros podamos agregar un gerundio. So, um, we're going to move on to the next part. It's going to be something related to this. Just take a look of the lesson objective, and, and it says here. Um, in this session, you will notice and practice release and unreleased sound. When I see what means release and unreleased sound. Uh, this is, has to be with pronunciation, and we have to pay careful attention to this part because it can help to us to improve our uh, speaking ability. Pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. We want you to get better on your pronunciation. Please listen and practice as many times as you need to. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released. T and d. Part A. Listen and practice. 
Notice when the sound t or d at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. On your own, complete the following sentences and say them out loud. Watch your pronunciation. Remember, the more you practice. Okay, um, <laughs> this is something, uh, I consider something funny because we have to practice like, yeah, practice like pronunciation with phonetics um, symbols. Um, there you have <laughs> basically how we pronounce a uh, sounds like in th in order to express something uh this is, has to be with phonetics <clears throat> in uh, this area uh as phonetics good in order to in improve our speaking ability because we learn how to pronounce words and uh, in this case when we have like the, the, the rule is so based okay so when we have um in this case uh, a sound like this, a T or E in this case. Um, so if we have a sound followed by a consonant, this is going to be an unreleased sound at the end of the, the, the letter T or letter D or the, the, well, in this case, the, the sounds that we're gonna um, use at the end of the word. And it's gonna be released when we have a uh, word followed by a vowel sound, okay? So, uh, for instance, uh, let me see, Alicia, how do you pronounce the, the, the sentence? The ones that I'm showing you um, right now. She's not a good at math and science. Okay, she's not. It's just listen to the last part, the, la the, the end of, of the word not. She's not good not is like we close the sound there but if we notice the uh, sentence that must be released we in this case in this sentence we say like he's not at he's not at not uh, we can like link the sound with the vowel he's not a he's not a good artist they really hate it hate it so we are like joining uh, uh, in pronunciation is like uh, linking the word with another uh, word. So and this happened just because we have a vowel sound uh, um, at the beginning of the next uh, word. It's so different in, in the unreleased because this is followed by a consonant. So it's not possible to do a linking. In between these words, I had, I, I mean, I hate working on Sundays. I really hate it. If you listen at the end, hate it, like joining uh, both, both words. Is it clear? So uh, I don't know if it is clear what I'm saying. Yes. Yes. Okay, let, let's practice. Um, let me see, Erica. Uh, read the sentence number two the ones that i'm uh, pointing out right now okay i hate working on sunday good um let's see joanna read the sentence number three you need to manage your money with Okay, um, let's see. Mylene, can you please read the sentence that I'm pointing out right now? Okay, yeah. he's not a good artist. Good, excellent. Ronald, can you read the next sentence? Ronald Antonio. Okay, okay. They really hate, hate it. Okay, good. Y Alba, uh, Galdames, can you read the last sentence? Alba, are you there? 
No, uh, Nancy Maldonado then. So can you please read the last sentence? I need a cup of coffee. I need a cup of coffee. Okay, good. Excellent, wonderful. Um, okay, guys, <laughs> we're going to stop here. Uh, and we're going to continue tomorrow. We just had to watch these two videos uh, at the end and then we're going to move on to the final test. It's gonna be so quickly because we're going to be just reviewing some information um, in, in this part in, in the section number 5.10 and, and 5.12, okay? So um, I don't know if you have any questions right now. Do you have any question? Do you have questions like for the platform, for the diplomas? Something that you want to ask? No, teacher. No. No. Guess the rest of you say no to. Okay, so if there is there are no more um, like questions related to to this class, so you are free to leave. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. Remember that uh, tomorrow Friday we have classes. We have classes at uh, eight p.m. As, as always. And um, remember that tomorrow is going to be our last class and also our last video conference, okay? So see you tomorrow. Bye-bye and blessings for all of you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow.